Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. On the road again. I'm in the middle of Guadalajara, Spain, not Guadalajara, Mexico. This is where the name originated from, Guadalajara. And I'm around 140, 150 kilometers away from the capital city of Spain, Madrid, in this province, as I said, called Guadalajara. I've just been to a town. Uh, that video will be coming out next week, probably. So uh, wait for that one. Uh, but what I want to talk about today is the future of rural Spain, the small towns in Spain, and uh, whether or not they have a future, I don't know. That's what I'm going to talk about today. And we can start a debate if you like. And the reason I'm on this topic today is because on the way here, I went past a sign that said that small towns don't die, uh, somebody kills them. And I think what that slogan means is that politicians are responsible for the uh, Spain that is currently dying, these small towns that don't really have much of a future. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, as you guys know, over the last two months or so, uh, at the end of uh, summer, maybe the beginning of September, can't remember exactly when, I started going to small towns in the Madrid community. I then branched out into some small towns in the province of Cuenca and today in the province of Guadalajara, as you can see there from the signs. And this is one of the parts of Spain where indeed towns are dying for whatever reason. Now, I'm not going to go into the specifics of why these places die. It could be, as that sign said, because politicians want these places to die. Uh, they have no interest keeping these places alive. Maybe it's more convenient for people to live in cities. For example, provincial capitals like Guadalajara City, rather than these small towns, and the, the services dry up, the schools dry up, the medical centers dry up, and people are left without any jobs, uh, anything to do in these towns. So they consider moving to a bigger city. Doesn't necessarily have to be a huge city. You can make a living in provincial capitals in Spain still. You don't have to go to a city like Madrid or Barcelona, even though there would be more opportunity in those towns. But uh, lots of towns around central Spain are dying towns in the north of Spain as well, especially in the Castillas, uh, Castilla y León and Castilla La Mancha, two of the biggest regions. This is Castilla La Mancha and there are lots of towns in Castilla La Mancha that unfortunately have seen better days. So those are some of the reasons why these small towns are dying. As I said, the services dry up. Uh, there's no youth in these towns. Uh, a lot of the times they're elderly populations. The kids have already left looking for opportunities because it is a characteristic that once you get an education, once you start your uh, school years, uh, there is the opportunity to go on if you are a good student to university or perhaps you get a trade and you uh, get a job as a tradie, plumber, electrician, whatever, and you don't see enough people in your town to provide a service to. That could be one of the issues. I'm not sure. But uh, towns are dying and uh, let's be honest, more and more people are moving to cities for the services that they provide. Unless of course, you are a person that's lived in a city all your life, sick of it, and you're looking for change. Now, over the last few years, various political platforms have popped up in Spain trying to protect these rural areas in the empty Spain. This is empty Spain, and these uh, groups pop up. There's one called Teruel Existe. Teruel is a town which has been suffering depopulation for a long time. The population every year getting smaller and smaller as people move out. I'll just take my sunglasses off because it started to rain. Luckily I got the recording done before the rain came down. But anyway, these platforms have popped up uh, getting electoral representation trying to bring this problem to light, trying to make more people aware of this problem of rural Spain and the uh, emptiness 
that is creeping in to this part of the country. There's also been some schemes set up in recent times. I spoke about this last year or maybe the year before of towns here in Spain that are offering cash incentives to get people to move there. In Asturias, I think, there's a town that's offering people around 3,000 euros each if you move there, more if you've got kids, because the idea is that they want youth to come to these cities. Don't know how long they're gonna last for, but they want youth to come. So there are incentive programs to try to get people to move to these towns. Not a lot. Don't know how many uh, programs there are around the country. I've only read about three or four, so I don't know how many exactly there are, but the one in Asturias called Ponga, I think is the name of the town, uh, still stands out in my mind because I spoke about it in a video a couple of years ago. So 3,000 euros, would that be an incentive to come and live in that town? I don't know. What are you going to do once you're there? Got no idea. There have been other schemes over the years. For example, I've heard of towns that have offered uh, local businesses, the people to come and live there. You get the chance to run the business. You get accommodation at that business. For example, if you run the local bar uh, or the local restaurant, maybe the uh, town hall will subsidize your stay there. You'll also be able to make a, a, a modest income, I would say. You're not gonna get rich, but let's be honest, not everybody wants to get rich in today's society. So if that's something that you would be interested in, I'm sure that uh, you could work something out, uh, take over the local bar, keep it in business, keep the locals happy, and uh, you get your accommodation paid for, and as I said, a modest salary coming off that as well. Or you could go to one of these villages, one of the few villages, I should say, that are offering cash incentives to come and live in rural Spain, empty Spain, whatever you want to call it. We saw the sign there, 57 kilometers away from Guadalajara uh, city, which is the provincial capital, and that's where all the action is in Guadalajara. Tourism, other small businesses are able to survive, but not many, unfortunately. And uh, from a central government point of view, I don't know how important this issue is, to be honest. So uh, there we go. Now I'm gonna find this town where I saw that sign, and uh, I'll wrap this video up from that sign. Los pueblos no mueren, los matan. Tenemos derecho a sanidad. Médico, ya. So that is one of the major reasons why people in these small towns go and live in uh, cities, for example. As I said, it doesn't have to be a big city, it can be a small city. But uh, having those uh, basic services like medical services that you don't get in some of these small towns. And I was speaking to somebody recently who told me that in his town, the doctor and uh, nurse have uh, left the town and the nearest town to get medical service is around 40 or 50 kilometers away uh, driving along a very dangerous road. So for elderly people in those towns or even young people, imagine if you're pregnant and your child came early, imagine what would happen if you didn't have access. So that's one of the reasons why people are abandoning small towns here in Spain. Let us know what you think about the problem. What should be done to fix the problem? Is it happening where you live as well? Let me know in that comment section below. Also, if you've got a Another question or comment, that section is also the place for you. Leave those questions and comments there. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego from rural Spain, Guadalajara to be precise. Bye bye.